For most Lego fans, these colorful bricks mean hours and hours of fun. A dragon, a crane, a helicopter. The sky is a limit. Six-year-old Lu Hanchen is crazy about Legos. I like playing with Legos very much. Sometimes when my mom asks me to sleep or eat, I still want to play with them. Many say playing with toys like Legos can boost their children's creativity and patience. Lu's mother Zhu Wen has also bought her traditional toys like flying chess, but Lu seems less interested in those. We parents prefer toys, which will help boost the development of our children's brains, reactions, and memories. And as living standards improve, children need toys with better quality and safety. Lego first entered China in the 1980s. Now the company has over 60 branded retail stores nationwide, and they plan to double that to 140 by the end of this year. This ambitious expansion plan shows Lego is optimistic about Chinese families' growing need for toys and the fun and creative spirits they bring about. To meet the growing demand, Lego built a factory in Jiaxing city of eastern China's Zhejiang province, expanding production. And a new flagship store has opened in Beijing this February. We are doing a, a, a right thing at the right market at the right time. More and more uh, affluent middle class uh, populations and also the second trial policy implementation and also the upgrade of uh, people's consumptions. That, uh, we feel there's a great opportunity for us in China. Many believe China is a shining beacon in a dim global toy market. Huang says although challenges like copycats remain, they will continue to take the right strategies to explore the market. Wu Lei, CGTN, Shanghai.